hi hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see a jiggle deformer so it's an utility which can be used with a mesh and without mesh also I'm just going to show you the both here in this uh, video okay if you are not yet subscribed do subscribe for more videos from me let us go into the video so I'm just going to create a cube here I want uh, a small cube okay so let me make it cube by scaling it okay so it looks a little bit cubic so I'm just going for the uh, the bevel here okay so let me have it somewhere here okay and going into mesh I'm just going to create a mesh network for this okay and just uh, go for the attribute here okay click on the attribute so after going into attribute go to mesh distribute I'm just going to use center uh, distribution I want the grid and just to go to y-axis I'm just going to increase three steps in y-axis grid okay so after that go into the mesh I'm just going to apply dynamics for this okay so that this will come down here and hits the ground so I have to uh, increase the timeline or what I can do just select uh, the ground here I have to go to bullet solver just come here you will find something called ground I'm just going to make it minus 10 so that it reaches as soon as uh, possible okay so I'm just taking off the grid okay then play it so you get this animation okay what you have to watch here is like uh, I'm just going to create a plane here so that it looks kind of uh, a uh, flat surface a floor where we can I'm just placing it here okay I'm not uh, going to make it as a collider I'm just uh, placing it here okay so that uh, this looks like a floor so that it hits on the floor okay so I'm just going to have it here okay so scaling it okay so this is what I have if I'm just going to play this one from the beginning so it's going to hit the ground and you see that there is no deform in the object okay I was talking about the deformer jiggle deformer right so here there is no deform on the object which we uh, created okay the mesh to create that what I have to do select that one go into the mesh go to the utility and here you see you have jiggle deformer so click on it okay now if I just go play this one you see that when it's starting there is a deformation happening from the starting itself you can see the deformation is happening okay this can be done with your deform tool okay the jiggle deform tool okay so for this I have to apply material for this right click on this okay just go to as a new material and going to add all here then going for the surface shader and I'm just going to go for maybe I can use rubber also here so I'm just going to go to rubber here so I'm just going to change the color okay of the rubber so it looks some rubber shaded and go into Arnold I'm just going to create a light sky dome okay let's see what's uh, what's the output so I'm just going for the render okay so it looks kind of a rubber or I can just change as a jelly also you can just use rubber or you can just use jelly also so here you can just go with the rubber here first okay so if I just play this you see this is getting deformed okay so uh, some soft rubber okay so if you want to increase the jiggle what you have to do uh, the deform go into the repo mesh and right click here find jiggle here if I just increase the stiffness here then you can see it is just deforming a little bit like a rubber now what I'm going to do select this one and the repo okay and go into a standard surface go into the preset I'm just going to make it like a, a jelly okay so for that what I'm going to do I'm just going for something called honey here so honey is here so I'm just replacing it okay with the honey and I have to come down here just go into the render so that I can see the honey here so I have to make some changes for this 
so that to bring the look of jelly so I'm just going to increase the roughness for it a little bit in a sorry not the roughness in specular so coming down here I'm just going to transmission so which gives you a transparency I'm just going to reduce this transparency and I'm just going to increase the depth for this so which will give you this solution okay I'm just going to have it like this and I'm just going to go a little bit more here and increase this one decrease it a little bit more 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 okay so this gave me some uh, uh, jelly uh, shaded okay where you can just go here and you can just change the color as you need I'm just going to go for uh, uh, this uh, orangish red so I'm just going to stop it here okay going back here if I just play so so it goes hits the ground and it doesn't have lot of uh, uh, deform okay so I'm just going to select that one and again going for the jiggle uh, make sure that uh, you reduce the stiffness which will give you more of uh, jelly jelly type you can see now so it shows me like a, a, a real jelly right so uh, what I have to do I have to make it softer to bring out uh, more uh, uh, mesh for this mash okay so I'm just going to select the, the original cube which we created okay so if we change this P cube okay the original one this will get affected to this mash so I'm just going to select that one okay go into modeling go into mash smooth it okay so you see that this got applied I'm just going to make it uh, the division to be one okay so just go back again so I'm just going to play this one this is what you get okay so I'm just go I'll tell you the the parameters what you have in jiggle deformer okay so I'm just going to select the repo again coming to this jiggle deformer first one I'm just going to reduce the stiffness okay so which will reduce your stiffness of the object okay so you can see more of stretchy in this uh, object okay so stretch stretchy and jelly okay more of stretchy and jelly in this object okay so that can be done with a stiffness okay so if I just go stiffness zero you see that totally will get deformed into another object so you see it it goes on okay so you can just have it something like point 0.1 or point 0.2 or according to your need you can just go for it okay so next one it's a damping okay so damping which gives you wet surface like a damping okay so I'm just going to reduce the damping which will give you the damping effect okay so you can see that so if I just go lot and damping now you see so this will give you a, a wet surface uh, deform okay uh, a total deform a different deform which will happen with this damping okay so I can just go play this one so so you can just increase the deform as you need okay so according to your need okay so where if you go with some uh, cloth ball or something as cloth cubes okay so you can just go for this okay so ha air filled okay so that can be done with these damping okay so just plan the object according to your need so here what I'm going to do I'm just going to have it something like this and uh, something 2.31 and uh, stiffness to be 0.165 now I play this okay so this gave me some uh, kind of a jelly structure okay. the next one is directional jelly so this directional jelly will give you more stretch towards the direction okay so if uh, this direction is something uh, it, it's going down so this will stretch okay this will stretch towards the direction okay so if I just reduce this okay into minus axis so it goes like uh, it will stretch in the minus axis okay so it goes uh, stretchy in the top okay so if I just want it somewhere uh, towards the direction okay so now it stretches towards the direction okay so that can be done with this directional jiggle normal strength this gives you how strictly this uh, points has to be strict to the normals okay so if I just uh, have this one this goes like this okay so if I just increase the strength of that okay so you see that the points towards that uh, face gets uh, strict to it okay so if I play this you can see that okay so you see the stretch but it's strict to the point 
okay so that can be done if I just reduce this you can see the shapes get converted if I just go more the shape reminds okay so that is the power of normal strength maximum transitional will give you how much deform it has to make okay so you can just go with maximum so that it will deform the object more okay so so if I reduce this uh, normal strength then you see you see a more deformation here okay so you can just go maximum of 50 here so you can just go more or not maximum of 50 you can just go more as you need you can see a lot of deform happens uh, towards the transitional okay so that uh, you can just go as you need okay so I'm just going to go for uh, three here so let me have three and uh, here normal strength to be something like a point uh, Four five, which will not uh, deform the shape if I just want more I can just go more and I'm just reducing the stiffness which will give me kind of a jelly structure so I can just go a little bit more yes point one will be better I think so a little bit more play this one so this will give me some deform happens okay so I just go a little bit of stiffness and and increase the normal strength here so let me see yes this gives me a little bit more of uh, a realistic jelly okay so that's good okay so this is what uh, I need so let me go back and I'm just going to a little bit uh, reduce the stiffness so that it'll give me a better uh, view yes this is a good good one and also the strength okay so we just want to see the strength also thus this strength will help me to know how much these parameters has to get affected okay so when I reduce it so this parameter will uh, affect those object in the strength of 0.23 okay this will happen and if you want the random strength to get applied so uh, you can just uh, less this so that it will give you uh, even strength okay so if I just go zero here it will give me a uh, even st even uh, uh, strength apply to all the object okay so if I just go back here if I just have it full so random strength will be applied to all the objects so that is the thing okay so in some cases you may need the even strength or in some cases we we need random strength to get applied to the object okay so here comes the step strength okay so if I just reduce the strength you see you have three lines in the y-axis okay so uh, the strength will get applied in certain areas only so if I just play this one you see the deform happens in the bottom okay not on the top so you can see this two lines did not get affected by the deform okay so if I reduce it you see again I reduced it now you see two lines top two lines got affected but not the third line okay so you can go with the strength okay so step strength you can have it uh, as you need if you want the top one alone to get affected you go for that points so it will give you these things okay so uh, those things can be done fine so you can see that so where I can just go fully step strength so it will get applied for all the mesh okay so now this is what I have so and I'm going for uh, this one okay just uh, the floor right click on this floor go into assign new material add an all material going for surface uh, standard surface okay so I'm going to have the weight to be something like this okay so this will make give me a good uh, result so select the plane here just go for this so I have to go to the weight here I'm just going to reduce the weight so which gives me a little bit better look so now let me go for the output so uh, go for open uh, the render view so this gives me something jelly so I'm just going to go for render I'm just going to have it somewhere here okay I pause it here I'll uh, come back after render so this is what the result uh, will get okay so it's simple to do the jelly if you want you can just go at any time and you can change the color you need I'm just going to go for something green yes this looks more realistic so I can go for that also anytime you can just go inside this and you can just uh, change the color 
okay so after changing the color i get this okay so you just go and explore more of color and you can just go more of transparency scatter and depth you can just go and work on this okay so i'm going to show you another thing which uh, will be more helpful with this deformer okay jiggle deformer i'm going to tell you another trick with this uh, jiggle deformer here without the mesh it is going to work go for a new one here it's very simple just check this out how beautiful it is so here i'm going to go with a spear which will have lot of uh, mesh okay i'm just going to have it here i'm just going to set key here press yes to set key and going to go to 35th frame i'm just going to bring this one here okay i'm making this one till 35 i'm just reducing the timeline to 35 if i play this this is going to move something like this okay you see that in this uh, moment there is no deform happening okay so if i want this to deform what i do just go to fx go to mesh go to utility i'm just going to create deform jiggle deform okay so if i go back and play this you see that my object got deformed it's exactly beautiful right you can just use the stiffness to be uh, something 0.5 now if i play this you see wow really it's a useful uh, tool okay so if i just hits and goes hits if i just want more of uh, the timing to have some animation after the end so if i just go play this one wow yes can you see that i go with uh, a damping also i go a little bit of more damping so that it will give you uh, more of the form you see yes if it is a wet it goes slow so if i just make it a uh, more uh, lesser amount of damping so if i play this yes so let me go with a little bit more so that it acts and uh, stops at a certain point okay so uh, you can use it jiggle the form without the mesh also and you can just use directional jiggle for this okay if you want minus to be applied so this goes minus you can see okay so everything just go and explore these points okay so you can use it anywhere you want okay so with any object any animation okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe do share give thumbs up thanks for watching thank you